Hi, I'm Jacob from Science for Kids and this is Sam and today we're going to do some science together. In this episode we're looking at the transfer of heat by a process called convection. Sam, how many syllabi in convection? Convection. Three. Convection. Good job, Sam. And to start with, Sam's really excited because what are we going to make, Sam? A rocket. A rocket. A tea bag rocket. A tea bag rocket. With tea bags. With tea bags. Yeah. Uh, look at to make a tea bag rocket, we're going to cut the top one centimetre off the top of the tea bag. Okay. Oh, don't cut me, Sam. Hey, good snip, Sam. He's going to open up and he's going to put the tea onto into that petri dish. Now, Sam, what you need to do is you need yeah. to make a tube. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, so. And can I open that? We'll do one? An, we'll do another one in a minute. Have a look at this, Sam. Yeah. This is going to be our rocket. Let's put the rocket ship down. Oh, it has to stand up by itself. And now, you want to light the match with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold the match and we'll light it together. And then we light the top of the tea bag like this. And then play. let's watch the rocket. Are we watching Sam? Oh, oh, here we go. Ah! <laughs> the rocket took off. Do you think it went all the way to the moon? No. No? It went on the moon. It touched it. Okay, do you want to do another one, do you? And what happens is the fire warms the air, Sam. Mm -hmm. No, it so floats. The fire makes the air hot. Let's do it again. And the air rises. Like it. In a convection current. That's right. The hot air rises in a convection current. Ooh. And then the light tea bag. Oh, good job. So up goes the hot air in a convection current. And the light tea bag. Oh, goes up with that convection current. Look at that, hey? Here it comes. Oh, broke into a million pieces again. Can oh, I touch it? Yeah, here comes one little piece. And some more pieces. Oh. Did you? Goodbye, hey. rocket. Okay, I'm going to show you how a convection heater works. Oh, when are we going to do this one? Oh, we can do that one later. Mm -hmm. You hold that. Yeah. And well, what happened? To make an electric heater, yeah. we need some electricity. And we're going to get electricity from this power pack. Now this is safe because it's got a low voltage. Now, I'm just going to see whether I've got some electricity. Oh, see that Sam? Yeah, so I want to do that. You want to do that? Okay, you do that. Me. Probably. You can spark them together. Oh, oh, that's it. And we are going to pass electricity through the wire. What do you think happens if you pass electricity through a wire, Sam? It might, it might go fire. Yeah, it might go fire, actually. It might go on fire. It might. Oh! Look, look, bit smoke. of smoke, bit of smoke. And look what colour it's going, Sam. It's red and orange. It's red and orange. And you're right, Sam. It's gone on fire. Quick, oh, put it in the, put it in the water to put it out. Oh. I'll take it out of the water. And look, when you pass electricity through the wire, it um, gets what colour? Orange. Because it's very hot. Hot. Whoa! Dropped off then. Do you want me to show you how hot it is, Sam? Whoa! Let me show you how hot it is. We'll put it on the wood and look what happens. What happens when it's on the wood? It burns. It starts a fire. You have to be careful with electricity and heat. Because can I you can the fire? Yeah. So the electricity is turning into heat. I'm going to show you, Sam, how our convection heater works. Um, okay. Alright. What's in here? Oh, that's a convection heater. Undo the screws. You haven't did the other one. And we're gonna open it up. We're gonna see what's inside. Is there a dinosaur inside the heater? Yeah. How weird's that? That's crazy, isn't it? And it can't talk. Oh, maybe the dinosaurs haven't gone extinct after all. They were hanging out in the heater. So have a look, Sam. Mm -hmm. 
Have a look what's in this heater. Lots of what? Wires. Wires, that's right. And they're the same wire as this one. And when you pass electricity through that wire, when you pass electricity through the wire, the wire gets what? Hot. Hot, that's right. And it heats up the air and the air rises so the hot air rises up and the hot air comes out the top. And you can and feel as it. The, you can feel the hot air. And that hot air travels in a convection current. And cold air comes in through the bottom. Cold air comes in through the bottom, heats up with the wire and travels up. And that's called a convection current. Now, I'm going to try and show you a convection current. A uh, beaker, like so. And we need a candle. A candle. <laughs> Is there a monkey in the room? Hey? Are you the monkey? So what we're going to do is we're going to light the candle and Sam is going to hold the candle under the beaker of water and I am going to put a crystal, a crystal of potassium permanganate into the bottom. Can I put it on the floor? Okay, let's hold it right up. Now you watch Sam, you watch that purple dye. Can you tell me what the purple dye is doing? It's going into the... Have a look at it from the side. What's it doing? Have a look. I can it's, see it. It's it, going up. It's going up. As the, as the water heats up, it goes up in a convection current. And it takes that water with it. And it's taking the dye with it as well. And then when it gets up to the top, it cools down. And what's it doing here on the sides? Goes down. Hmm. So the current goes up and then around and down into this circular current. And the convection currents, you can find the sun, the sun heats up the ground and it causes the, the hot air to rise. And that's, where, that's where wind comes from. You can come. see the fire. You can. And that's where wind comes from. Wind is caused by convection currents. And sometimes birds fly on those convection currents and uh, gliders as well. There's even convection currents under the crust of the earth, where all the all oh. the magma and the la all the magma is uh, under the crust, moving around in a place called the asthenosphere, and that's actually partly what causes the, the tectonic plates to move as well. So, we look. What did we look at today, Sam? Fire. Fire and heat transfer by convection. Yeah? yeah? Heat transfer by convection. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you've had a fun time. Be careful if you ever use fire at home or electricity because you can start fires with electricity, can't you, Sam? Yeah. It can be a bit dangerous. Bye for now, and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Woo okay, bye everybody. Again. I really want to do the walkers again.